Hello everybody, my name is Al, I'm from Sauberlab and today will be another video about TrueNAS. This TrueNAS version that I'm gonna show is the TrueNAS scale and that will be a continue for the last video where I show how you can install the TrueNAS scale, create your user, create your pool and do the base configuration. In this video I will show how you can start to install some applications, so I will show how you can install the Plex, I will not do any configuration, but at least you are aware how you can install Plex. And in this video, I will show how you can extend your catalog. And you're gonna ask why I want to do it. TrueNAS Scale as a standard or official catalog, they only allowed you to have around eight or seven applications. And you can have much more application. Of course, you always can do a normal configuration using the Docker launch, but it's better to have already everything preset for you. So in this way, you can follow some steps, that's quite easy, only to add the big catalog so you can have a lot of applications, but nothing impedes you or not block you to use any application for the Docker. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're going to show exactly in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and let's see how we can do it. Before we start to do any configuration, I will go through my system only for you to be aware what is required to have in order to have everything work and be able to do any step further. So the system that you need to have is TrueNAS Scale, otherwise if you are using TrueNAS Core, you will not have the Docker abilities in this system. So in this case, I'm using TrueNAS Scale 2002 RC. 02. The, the revision that I'm using is TrueNAS Scale 20.02 RC02. In this computer or this virtual machine, I have four cores, I have 9 gigabytes of RAM memory. In the local storage, I have uh, 28, around 32 gigabytes hard drives, and this hard drive is set as a mirror. Exactly for in the case that one hard drive fail, I will have another one to cover it. In my case, it will not uh, affect anything because these two hard drives is running in the same hard drive because it's only a virtual machine. And if my hard drive fails, doesn't matter if I'm using mirror, they will fail anyway. I have a network connection where the IP address is 192.168.1.49. If I come here in my storage, I can see what pool that I have set up red. As I told, I have uh, one pool connected and these ones work as a mirror. And the name of this pool is called local. Inside this local, I have two data sets. The first data set is called data, where I want to keep all my data and to keep all my Docker configuration and my media and everything there. And I have a second one that's the applications. This folder is not normally it's great because of the TrueNAS core where they create all the JUs applications. In this case, I'm not gonna use because I prefer to save in another place where I can backup it and I keep all the information in a safe place. So if I come here in uh, permissions, I can see that I already configured the permissions and the owner of this folder is Sauber. It's exactly the same user that I had created before. So if I come here in credential, user, I already created my user Sauber. If I come here and share, I already have my SMB running. And inside this one, I have my folder data running well as well. And everything is running. How I know that's really running? If I come here and open my Explorer and I use my IP address 192.168.1.49, I can access the folder data. And here I have my Docker. Inside the Docker, I have two folders. One is Nextcloud and other is Plex. If I open this Plex, and I create a new folder because we're gonna need it as a transcode. It means that all my transcode will save here and that there will be another folder called data or configuration where I'll have all my configuration for the Plex. Other thing that I forget, imagine that you want to have everything organized. So I need to create a folder called media where I'm gonna save all my media. In my case, I will not have any media this because the idea is not to set up Plex it's how you do the first configuration and how to extend your library. So in this way, I don't need to have a physical media there. It's only for locate it and track it. So I can minimize it and come here in my apps. Here in my apps, I don't have any apps installed yet. 
So I can come here, available applications, and I have a few applications that I can install. If I come here, put install, in the case Plex, they will appear this page. How I can do this configuration? First, I would set in the name, so Plex. The revision, in this case, I have only one revision, but if you have others revision, you can choose it if you need it. So I can come put next. Our configuration, if I select use Plex Pass, I avoid that I need to log in and add to my user. But in my case, I'm not to do it because it's not idea to configure my Plex. Other thing you need to configure the time zone. I will leave it this way because for me not affect, but I suggest you to put your time zone, put next. If you need to do a host network, you can connect here, but I don't need to do it. I want to have external access. And the port that I'm using is 32400, the standard Plex. I suggest you to leave this port because it's only to avoid any conflict. But if you want, you have the option to change it. Other thing we're gonna put next, and here's the volumes that we need to configure. In my case, I have the transcode, data, and configuration. So let's define the transcode first. Remember that we create a folder Plex transcode? Yes, it's here. So come here, come here, come here, Docker, Plex, and transcode. Now my data will be where all my media will be located. So I come here, local, data, and media. And the last one, the configuration of the Plex. So I put here, local, data, Docker, and Plex, and I put next. Now it's the time of the update strategy. I suggest you to leave this one to kill all the activities before all the pods, and that's a create a new one. If you select to create first and that after kill, you can have some conflict. Only if you really need to do it, I suggest you change. Otherwise, don't change, leave the way that are. So next, and that's a resource. If you have a GPU connect for your computer, you can um, add in this stage. But in my case, I don't have, so I don't need to do anything. Put next. DNS, if you don't want to use the standard DNS, you can change it. I don't see the reason to change, but you always can do it. So I come here and put next. And here they will show the overview of your application. In my case, it's fine, so I put save. Once that's save, they will start to release, install it. If I come here, install applications, they will show what application and install. In my case, it's developing. So I can come here and put log, I put choose, and I can see what is going on with my Plex. So the red start and appear done. If the Plex appear done, it means that has been installed. I can open the same IP address plus port 32400 slash web, or I can come here application, click web portal, and that I will be able to access Plex straight away. But one thing that I didn't like, if I come here, available applications, they have only few applications that you can install. You can install Nextcloud, you can install Plex, you can install Machine, and that's it. Always you can come here, launch a Docker, and create uh, from the container. So I put, I don't know, Nextcloud, and I, then I select the name of the repository and the image that I want to install. But I don't like to do it. I don't like the idea because it's not pre-configured for you. You have option, you can use the true chart. And here it's already made specific for true NAS scale. So why we don't use it? In this way, you can add a lot of new programs pre-configured specific for true NAS scale and that will work well. So to do it, we come here in manual, we can come here in a quick start, you can click add true chart to scale and here they already appear how can you do it. So you go in the application, and that's you manage a new catalog, add a new catalog with this name, this repository, you select stable core. In my case, I will suggest you to select as stable because it will be stable. Core, there can come some application that's not full tested and that you can have problems and the bench will be main. So let's come here and do exactly what they told you. Manage catalog, add a catalog. Let's copy this name to charge and I pass it. And now the repository, I can copy here this repository, paste it, come here and select as this table. Let's change it and put save. Now they say they will add a large catalog. This can take a minute and I put close, but it didn't appear anything here. Why they didn't appear? Because they didn't finish to add its catalog, but you can check the status and how they are going on. So task manager, and here the red start to appear. So we have a 4% done, and once that appear 
and you come here in available application, this one should have much more available application. So let's wait for this catalog to finish update. When this one finish, we can come here in available application and see the next step. So let's wait. Now that we don't have any mark, if I come here in catalog, the red appear my catalog as a catalog and stable. If I come here in available application, the red appear much more application. I come here and it's really lots of those. And I can install any of those and they're already pre-configured. So if I want to install LIDAR, I come here LIDAR, I do exactly the same step. So I can put next, I can uh, set up my time zone, next, my network service. If I don't want this port, I can change it. I can uh, select which kind of node. This one is more folks for node. If you have a load balance, it means that you have more than one server running the same application. You can define that uh, all the CPUs, all the computers work more or less balanced. It means that if you have two, one of those is running lots of application, they will go for the second one. You don't need to worry about it because in my case only one. Once that we start to work with more computer, more service, then we can look for this option. The ports, or if you want to do any specific configuration. Now I can uh, configure my volumes. In this case, if I select PVC, will be the standard one. Any other thing will be a little bit different configuration, so don't change it. Then we can add some specific configuration. If I put add, I can define what I want to configure. It. So suppose that I want to do media. I want to select the table where I want to save it, media, and that I put next. So this one is the volume that create called media. Don't forget to put here the name of the path, otherwise they will not locate what uh, you want to do. Then the type of ingress, if I want to do anything. Secret permissions, so if you want to define the user or only the some specific information there. The user is specific, so if you want to use the user root, so it will be zero, 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 and continue on. I will leave the way that they are. No, I'm not worried about it. If I want to add some configuration to the USB, don't need to worry about it. Some add-ons. In the case of VPN, I can uh, make that all the connection will be through the open VPN. All, all the connection will be through the wiring guard. If I select the wiring guard, I need to configure it or the open VPN. Why I gonna use it? Imagine that you want to connect for another machine and make the same cluster. So you're gonna need it to have some way to connect it and they allow you to use the warning guard or the open VPN. In this way, you can start to install any of those applications and make your TrueNAS more effective without the necessity to run a virtual machine. So save time and save capacity and it will work much better. Remember, this kind of uh, installation will only work if you are using the TrueNAS SKU. If you are using the TrueNAS score, it will not work in the way that you expect. So I hope that you like this video. In this video, I show how you can use any application or extend your catalog in the order to have lots of different applications right, preset for you. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.